Hello everyone! Tessa Spain today, welcome to... Well, it's Friday. It's Friday, October 11th, 2024. Day 285! So we have 15 days to the Day 300 event that Terra has planned out. So whether or not it happens on my day or his, he's doing it regardless. But we have 15 days to prepare for that one. He's gonna get it. But I hope everyone is enjoying their Friday. There isn't a whole lot to talk about. However, Buttercup is officially on her fall or autumn break. I don't... Personally, I do not like saying fall. I like to say autumn. <sighs> but that's me. I know Americans like to say fall. I'm American, but still, I prefer autumn because it's just... I don't like talking about things fall. Hello. It's a covenant. Covenant. Anyway. There aren't any, uh, physics to it. Oh, well. Ah, wow, yeah, she's officially on autumn break, so we're gonna find things to do with her. I'm trying to get her to play the game Terror and I have been playing, but I really, really do not think it's her play style, so... We'll just have to be able to find some things to do. I know there's yard work out there that Terror really wants to get done, but with that bing bat who stole his, his uh, weed whacker, it's gonna be kind of hard to get some of it done. Especially since he doesn't want to take the mower uh, over by the corner of the easement where they, uh, fix that wire line because they haven't filled in with, um, with concrete over there. It's just filled in with loose rocks and he doesn't want to run over any loose rocks and they have the big old chunks of rock and dirt in, in the lawn over there. So he really doesn't want to hit that with his mower. His mower's taken a beating as it is from the last time someone did work and left rocks in his yard. In the yard. <laughs> it's just uh, one of those preferable. We'd like to not damage our equipment more than it already has been because, uh, replacing it is difficult. We're gonna have a difficult enough time as it is replacing the weed whacker that was stolen. Because, again, the premium to, or is it the premium or the copay or whatever, like, you know. When you have to make an insurance claim, the insurance claim is five hundred dollars, but the value of the, the weed whacker itself is less than one hundred and fifty. So the insurance claim would cost more than than it would be to just replace it. So we'll just have to budget like next month or maybe January, as uh, December is December is already you know all for in terms of our budget. So November is kind of up in the air. Kinda hoping to get a spring salon pan because I really, really want to make a cheesecake next month. Cause that would be good. I I like I haven't made a, a like a homemade cheesecake in a really, really long time. So it would be nice to make one. Like I wanna say the last time I did a homemade cheesecake. And I'm not talking those jello recipes for instant cheesecake. No, I'm talking the long ones where you have to let your cream cheese soften enough and use a mixer with some flour and some powdered sugar and actually, you know, bake the thing. And you do it in a spring form pan because it's got to have the straight edge, not that pie tin. But, but I used to do that one instead of just doing a standard New York che a lemon cheesecake. It was, uh, I would top it with blueberries and let all the juices from the blueberries bake into the top layer of the cheesecake. I'd like to do that again. That would be kind of nice. But again, I need a spring foam pan. I'd have to borrow a mixer because I can't afford a mixer. Those are, you know, $250, $300. There's a really, really pretty one that I saw over at Walmart that I love to own. But again, it's $250 and I have no idea where I'd store it because we don't exactly have storage space here. And the landlord is talking about tearing down the shed at this own point. I'd hope not because I'd... Uh, where would I put... Arm, come back, please. Oh, dear. It... Well, hey, what's going on here? Uh, well, that's happening in the nowhere. But, uh, yeah, the, the... Oh, please, Arm, don't do it to me again. It's gonna do it again. Don't do this to me, Arm. I don't want my arm to... Fly away. But the landlord is talking about wanting to tear down the shed. And, like I said... Where would we put our lawnmower and all the lawn care stuff? Because there's not exactly space in the house. And it better not be like, oh, well, it's still up to you to figure out where to store. By the way, you're still responsible for the yard. 
If you were to pick your yard, you, there needs to be a place for us to put the yard tools. I still need to talk to them about, you know, changing up the locks on the shed. So we can actually lock the thing up. Because uh, right now we can't, and that's probably why the weed whacker got stolen. But again, no idea why they stole that and nothing else. Maybe we're like, oh, this, this, that doesn't even have what copper in it. If they don't try to steal copper. I don't know. This shit is, it, it's definitely just falling apart at this point. It's, it's, it, it's quite bad out there. But, I know I need to do that to make sure it's easier to play in the yard for the kids. Which means in terms of the really tall weeds, I can't use a weed whacker, which means I'll have to have Tara either just pull them or use garden shears. You know, just hand shears. That should not be fun. Well, that, wow, that, that was sardonic. It was sardonic of me. Usually people like to use sarcasm, but for some reason, me, I was like, well, you know what, let's just be sardonic. There's no sarcasm necessary for it. It's, it's going to be a terrible job. Our back is going to be very inky when it's all over. But it, it just needs to get done. Would be nice if the weather would finally take the better turn and not be in the 90s very high. It's October. It is October. We're, not, we're like not far from halfway through the month and it's still like June, July temperatures out here. <laughs> it would be really nice if we could finally get some proper October weather. The leaves not like it's so warm out here that the leaves on all the trees haven't even started changing yet. They're still this green as can be. So yeah, it would be very, very nice if we could just, you know, see the weather start changing. Because everyone's talking about autumn and Halloween and their spices and stuff. We're not doing the pumpkin spice here. I have vanilla spice tea and I have that really, really tasty cinnamon spice tea. Oh my goodness, that, that is some of the best black tea I've ever had. So we have some hot teas ready to go, but it's just too hot out. Am I going to have to sit there and be like, you know what, it's still super long. Why don't we go out there and make some sun tea again? It's not sun, it's not supposed to be sun tea weather. It's supposed to be hot tea weather coming up, but no, it's still hot as can be here. I don't like having to go outside and worry about getting my boobs sweat and... If you know, you know. It's, it's like, a, it's, it's a woman's uh, most hated thing of summer weather is... Sweat. It's uncomfortable, and we don't need to embellish further. If you know, you know. I really can't keep this one very long. I know, I, I'm late getting on here to record again, but that's entirely my fault. So it's pretty much 6.30 at the time of this recording. Pretty much, I mean, you know, three minutes short, but, you know, I might as well just say it's 6.30, so I'm very late. And I do know we have to make dinner for the kids really soon. Trying to figure out we're just going to do the leftovers or if they want to have that pizza. I know, I know Buttercup is, is, uh, doesn't really like pizza that much anymore. I should really drill that out of her so we can stop worrying, stop thinking about having pizza. That should work. Like, you know what, that, that might work. Just absolutely pizza the crud out of them until they just don't like it anymore. Problem is, both of the kids are getting more and more picky with their food. Like, Sweet Pea right now, all she wants to eat is oatmeal and ramen noodles. Oatmeal and ramen noodles, not much else. It's been... My only frustrating, to say the least, trying to keep that one fed. But at least we have plenty of oatmeal here, so... It's oatmeal, but she needs the protein, not just soluble fibers. She's not in her 60s. Anyway, I'm not going to keep it any longer than it needs to be, because like I said, I have things I need to get to, get to doing. I hope everyone enjoys their Friday. For those who have kids who are, all, who are starting their vacations, keep them plenty entertained. I know we're going to do our best here to keep our kids entertained and not fighting at all hours because I'm... We're tired of that. We're tired of the kids fighting. But that, that's just what siblings do. I know Tara fought with his brother and his sister all the time as kids. 
it's a very normal thing. But anyway, enjoy your fri the rest of your Friday. Make plans for the weekend. I hope everyone takes care of themselves. And we will see you all tomorrow on Saturday. So long, everyone. And, um... Let your family members know that you love and think about them. It's important to care for family. Anyway, see you around, everyone. Again...